Jo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Dave Junior. I'm coming live and here from my home. This is how it looks like in the village, in the interior parts of Kenya, to be specific, at the border between Kenya and Tanzania. So on today's video, it is very, very special because I have my sister here. Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. For those who don't know me, my name is B. Mwango, check me out as well. I create amazing content. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video till to the end. Ensure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. So without much further ado, let's do it. So how's life in the Philippines? Life is great in the Philippines. It's amazing. And I find it really fun and interesting because Philippines is an island. I think it's, it's the land of a uh, hundred thousand plus island. <laughs> I don't know if it's 10,000 or a hundred thousand plus. I'm not so sure about the figures, but it's really interesting because it's an island with lots of islands in it. And I love the beach. So for me, any country that has the beach, it has mm -hmm. to be, it has to be interesting to me. Wow. <laughs> so how are the foods there? with pepe like ghana in west africa so <laughs> wow i remember when i was in west africa like oh my god like mm -hmm. oh the food was really interesting because it had a lot of pepe they call it pepe to mean paper you know but uh, in philippines i can say in terms of food they have diverse foods and it's amazing because when you get to travel you get to experience different types of foods so in Philippines, I think they really love eating rice because rice actually is their staple food. So rice is everything, it's a lifesaver. The way in my country, Kenya, we love ugali. You know, it's everything. But their food is really, really interesting and crazy to me at the same time. Because when I was staying in the villages, I used to do a lot of cooking and I never knew like the banana stem could be food at some point. Mm -hmm. So it's amazing. So when it comes to food, they have diverse types of foods and it's good to test and experience, you mm -hmm. know, what they get to eat. So in general, I can say they have amazing food. They have a lot of fish. I'm a huge lover of fish. So yeah, I love the food and also they love meat so much like pork, you know, but I'm not a pork lover, but at least they have fish for me. So life is amazing and great over there. <laughs> oh wow. Is it expensive to stay in the Philippines, let's say paying rent? Mm, I can say every country, they have things that are really expensive, you know, it varies. But uh, when it comes to rent, it all depends with the location. I think exactly. this is this is similar to every part or everywhere in the world. It all depends with the location. When you want to stay in the city center, it's always expensive. When you move away from the city, it's always cheaper. When you move to like elite touristic places, it's always expensive at the same time. So it all depends with the location. But I, I can say like it all depends with your pocket capacity you get what you can afford but again when i compare the philippines peso with the kenyan shilling it's 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 you know it's it's higher than our kenyan shilling so mm -hmm. yeah but that's the way of life over there oh wow so let's talk about the infrastructure about the roads how what's your take oh, i think philippines is one of the countries that they really 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 improved when it comes to roads, they have amazing roads, butter roads, like, I don't know, but I really fell in love with their roads. They are very clean, well taken care of. I mean, they have butter roads, dust free. Oh my God, guys, being in Africa, like not in a bad way, but like, for example, in my country, Kenya, I was, much, I was really used to a lot of dust, you know, like in Nairobi, it's so dusty. It's so, you know, it's so busy, but over there, the fact that there's no dust, and actually i'm saying in a good way if one of the government of officials gonna watch this video oh for me i can't wait for those times where our roads will be dust free and it's manageable can you imagine philippines has a population of 100 million and my country it's only 50 million but at least they have been able to manage the dust so i think it can also be done come on guys it can be done as well but all in all i love the roads and the fact that they are dust free makes me fall in love with them even more wow amazing and how do the police interact with the locals in the philippines can you compare the kenyan lifestyle and the filipinos <laughs> and i guess i just want to be really honest but i think i've never been to any country where the police are really and extremely accommodating 
than Philippines, you know. I took so many pictures with them on the road, by the road, and actually they're the sweetest police you can ever meet. And like, like where I come from, when, 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 <laughs> when you see the police, like you even start doubting yourself, you know, when you haven't even done anything wrong. You know, like where I come from, like when you see the police, like it's not something normal, like it instills fear in you. But outside there, like the police are so good and uh, they take good care of everybody. And being a foreigner, I think it's extra because they take much care. You know, mm -hmm. like they're really concerned about your well-being and all that. So and when it comes to the police in Philippines, they're the best. You know, you guys might be like, D, you love Philippines too much. But I'm just being <laughs> honest. And anybody who has been there can attest to this. Mm -hmm. If you doubt, please book a flight. Let's go to Philippines. Let's confirm whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. And uh, the immigration, as you know, when you're traveling, the immigration might be always hectic. But the Filipino, how do you see? Ah, uh, I think the immigration. Mm -hmm. uh, the immigration officers are always like more of the same. But I, I don't know. In one or the other, mm -hmm. I find. Filipinos to be really sweet and gentle guys like they don't really like trouble or stressing somebody I think that those people that are really easy going so same to the immigration officers they always treat people with okay for me I've been there and actually I stayed longer meaning I was extending my visa and all that so they don't even ask you too many questions like as long as you have the legal documents let's mm -hmm. say if you need a visa you have your visa to Philippines if you don't need like just have all your documents with you because of course they have to follow the laws of the country as much as they're really gentle and uh, easy going so when you have your documents right with you there's no problem actually they welcome you they, they even tell you hey in case of anything let us know they can even give you like me they gave me recommendations like hey be sure to visit this place check out this place you love it like you know that's not their work of course i know but that means they're really concerned about people you know like when you get there they, they really want to ensure you have the best about mm. their country Guys, you've all heard about the Philippines, and uh, I think that's it. So, thank you so much for the love and support. I really appreciate it. We're just sharing our honest opinion, you know. Yeah, and opinions vary. Mm -hmm. Maybe you went there, you have your own opinions, but let me know what you think about the Philippines. But to me, uh, that country is amazing, it's so good. I can't wait to be back there again. <laughs> soon. Yeah, so soon. Like, I'm just counting days, and I'm like, oh my god, I can't wait. So, so yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. So, thank you so much for the love. I'll see you in my next one. Greetings from home. Bye, guys. Bye. Take care. <laughs>